Hey, hi. Oh. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker. I try products out for you and share my honest reviews to give you a better sense of what to buy and what not to buy. Today I am back with a video that's based off of a recent question I received. Somebody who suffers from rosacea, has very sensitive skin. They were asking for foundation options that did not include essential oils. Out of the ones that I've reviewed, these are the four that I could recommend. I'm gonna share those essential oil free foundations for those sensitive skin types. If you wanna see what they are, then stick around. Let's get into it. I, yeah, I purchased all these products. No one's paying me to say the following. This is just me sharing information with you based off of what I've tried. If you like these honest reviews and you want to see more of them, don't forget to take a second and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's just dive in with the first option here. There's actually two foundation sticks. One I don't have on hand because I'm realizing that the box that got lost in the move was the foundation box. <laughs> these are all foundations except for one and she did say it did moisturizers bbs and cc's could be an option so i will start off with the suntegrity impeccable skin this is one of my all-time favorites it says mineral matte tinted coverage i'm not going to tell you that it's totally matte on my skin it's combination it provides amazing coverage gives a little dewiness for some it's a little too heavy so take that into account but i really love it and you can sheer it out a little bit use a sponge if you want to with application this is just a solid option i've loved this forever i actually prefer to their five-in-one tinted moisturizer. I just like the additional coverage and I have this in the shade sand. So that is the first option. Next, we have a foundation stick. This is from Mented Cosmetics. From Mented, it sounded like I said fermented, but I didn't. The foundation stick, I have this in L10. I haven't been reaching for it a ton because I don't know, I kind of forget about it. But, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I try so many products out all the time. This needed a little bit of judging to kind of soak into the skin. One of the things that I love about stick foundations is you really can kind of swipe on just a little bit and use a kabuki brush or a sponge or whatever you have on hand to just kind of buff it in a little bit. It's just so easy. And if I were traveling or maybe a road trip, which I will not be going on one for a long time because I just drove 2,300 miles by myself with a cat, I digress. But if I were doing that, I would want to have something like this by my side that I can just be like, choo, choo, quick coverage, you're done. The next I recently reviewed, this is from Erin's Faces. It's their mineral liquid powder foundation. It says liquid and powder, which don't get confused. It's just supposed to control oil, but also hydrate. So it's like supposed to be a smart foundation, which I'm all into. I just wish it didn't have dimethicone. I actually really liked this. You can check out my most recent review. This is a very solid, I would say, medium coverage option. I think it did a really good job there. It's very, very lightweight, very silky, almost has that velvety texture. This I would say is a bit creamier than this one. If you're looking for something that's a lighter weight and say you have oily skin, this would probably be the preferred option. This foundation stick would be amazing for that too. So you have choices, that's what I'm saying. And the last was in the box, so I don't have it with me. And I actually need to get a new one. It's the Well People Narcissist foundation stick. Very well priced. There's no essential oils in there from what I've seen. Now keep in mind, I should have said this in the beginning, those formulas can shift. So just, just to be careful, and maybe this video is seen at a later date when formulas have been updated, just go in there, just click the links below, check it out. Take a, take a little gander for yourself. The mented stick is a little less emollient. Well People is definitely a little slicker. You can kind of swipe, 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 swipe easily. And then you can just sort of press it into the skin. I found that to kind of blend into the skin a bit easier than the mented, but it didn't give as much coverage as this stick. It just depends. With all of the mask wearing that's going on, you can kind of take this and strategically apply it to places that might not be always hit by the mask. You have a little bit more control here with the amount that you put on your face. I think it could be an added benefit to using the foundation sticks. I did not go into powder because this person said she's not interested in powder foundation. Liquid foundations, God, there are essential oils in everything. So I love that you asked this question. I think it was really eye-opening for me because I never really look at that. Thank you so much for your questions. Keep them coming. They really inspire a lot of the content that I create here. And that to me is the best of the channel. So thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, again, take two seconds to like the video, subscribe if you want to see more of them. We'll see you guys right back here real soon. Until then.